data is the new fuel it is what drives economy it drives enterprise today so big data is a term that is used for for collection of data sets which are so large and so complex that it becomes difficult to process them using a traditional database system uh, to or traditional data processing applications id systems have been around for a long time we have the rain frames we had the traditional databases the hierarchical databases we had a flat database structure a simple excel spreadsheet that we all use is also a kind of a database with the advances that we have made in cloud in the ability to to process data and the processing power itself has geometrically improved uh, and exponentially grown storage has grown the cost of storage has, has come down because of these two major elements and the third element which is because of network going from 2g to 3g 4g 5g because of these three elements cloud and uh, storage cost coming the cloud systems coming up and storage cost coming down uh, and the fact that we have this humongous growth of media and social media we've been able to do big data and big data analytics Now, what is the difference between big data and standard data? One is is the fact that big data you can have structured data, uh, rows and columns, uh, hierarchy, relational databases, queried using an SQL uh, system. Then you have this whole unstructured data. Now, what do we mean when we say unstructured data? Things like our email, our uh, the post, the the feedback that we give on social media. It could be uh, you know a, a Facebook like. it could be some videos then you have this whole semi structured data semi structured data is in html xml when we say big data and big data tools it is the ability to take this very large data set and process it using both traditional database a data system based database system tools and data processing application so every time we all know that when you take a picture and post it a photograph or a video consumes a lot more storage right so even a small photograph would be they been a lot of times emails or presentations it's it can be you know close to a couple of mbs so every time that we create a, a say a, a facebook like or share a video or share a, a picture on whatsapp we are actually creating more data the very large data processing it and making sense of it is what big data and big data analytics is all about now how did big data evolve okay uh typically you know in the early 90s we had the mainframes in the early 2000 you had client server solutions and then in the in 2010 etc uh, onwards you had portals sorry now 2010 12 onwards you had mobile applications 2014 onwards cloud has become a way of life for everybody couple of other things that have happened is the fact that we have a whole lot of social media facebook google linkedin whatsapp or all of these twitter all of these guys the very large giants themselves have create create data and handle data and then you have a whole lot of iot these are devices which are at the end point with the end user and they capture information of things that are happening at the end point and keep sending that information over a network into a database and a whole lot of applications are built around the internet of things iot's could be sensors it could be your video camera or your closed circuit uh, cctv cameras it could be your uh, webcams what you see in the picture here in the slide is the uh, google car google taxi uh, a google taxi is a great example of an iot and that's Now, from this taxi, you can uh, you you will actually keep getting information into a central server. And imagine there will be a million taxis on the road, all sending information into a central server, which is uh, or a, a few central servers, and which in real time is giving information back to the taxis on navigation, what roads to take, what is the uh, shortest path, what is the best way of getting there. Uh, technology of this sort has created a need for big data. So. the evolution from a client server mainframe etc to cloud iot the explosion of social media is really what has made big data big data evolve in a, a big way now 
some some statistics because statistics are important for all of us uh, it also tells us the story about how how enterprises are how how people are valuing big data the big data analytics market is expected to reach 103 billion by 2023 in 2020 every person in a second we we actually generate 1.7 megabytes of data internet users these are all large numbers Internet users generate about 2.5 quintillion bytes of data every day. Netflix, which uses big data, and it's one of the greatest examples of how big data and analytics is used by an organization, purely on customer retention, saves close to a billion dollars every year. Um, uh, 97% of organizations are investing in big data and uh, artificial intelligence. I do want to also spend a little t- one some time on telling you. How poor data con- uh, quality? What does poor data quality mean? If if I'm collecting information in that previous example of that city where where, where the pandemic had struck, and if I did not have the correct address of the location, if I did not have the correct name of the person, or if I did not have the correct phone number, imagine what it is going to cost me. Poor data quality. It is a nightmare for everybody. And poor data quality, even in the U to the for the U.S. economy. Cost them close to about 3.1 trillion dollars a year. Now, I can't emphasize how important it is to have correct data, and how a whole lot of technology people and IT, you know, uh, uh, even enterprises, how they struggle with uh, with cleaning up data and making data good, and you know, improving the quality of data.